So I need to flip this door over to get more screws in the first layer, the, the bottom layer or the inside layer as it's hanging. Problem is, it's kind of a heavy door. I did a little test lift on the side to see if I could stand it up on, on the side, stand it up the short way. It's pretty heavy. Curiosity got to me. I started thinking how I can weigh this door, how I can figure out how much it weighs. So I grabbed a couple planks off the stack over there and I weighed a couple planks to get an average. I took that average and I multiplied it by how many planks are in the door, including the stuff in the center. Came out to 406 pounds. We'll just call it a 400 pound door. That, that's a heavy door. I'm not gonna be flipping that over by myself. I don't wanna drop it and have it break or have it fall apart in some way. So I put the El Camino in the charger so I could charge the battery up on it. I could build another door on top of this one, but if some of the screws go through and into this door, then I'm, I'm kind of in a world of hurt. So I'm thinking I move the El Camino and I bring some more gravel in over here, smooth it out. I've got more boards. I can stack it up to make a nice level area. And I build another door over there. That way I can measure the overall width, make sure I'm going to work with hinges and the little overlap on the side there. I think that's the way I'm going to go. Unfortunately, that might take a little bit of time. That battery is no good. So I've got to get it to the point where I can start it and turn it sideways, then bring gravel in, bring the torch out, sledgehammer out, level out that area and get that going. Hopefully I have the second door made by the end of the day. Cross your fingers. This might take a while. That's not going to start. Well, that car definitely did not want to start. That battery is toast. One of those Optima red top batteries. Heard horror stories about them. Um, I, I still bought one because I needed a sealed battery because it's sitting in the engine or sitting, not, not sitting in the engine compartment, it's in the pasture compartment. So I've got to have a sealed battery or a vented battery with a tube that goes outside. So I bought that Optima Red Top battery and it lasted, I think, about two years. About two years ago, it went dead. And it would always jump start. Of course, having another car hooked to it is, is different. I can't get my truck in here past the Connex box, weasel it in here. So it'll sit there until I get a battery for it. And I will build a second door on top of the first door. Get on that.
Now there's two 400 pound doors. The only thing I didn't remember to do was cut the 45 out. I've got the knee brace that comes through the door opening on each side. So the outside upper corner on each door is going to have to get trimmed back. And I have it so that the one door will overlap the other. That's why there's this little, this last plank here that's not put on the door yet. If you remember on the top layer of the first door, on that end, I left a little piece open. Two things that did, it allows this plank right here to overlap the other door so that wind can't come through. It also offsets these planks with the planks down below so these cracks don't line up. I didn't put any, any type of uh, weather barrier inside these doors. I didn't have any left over. So I did, I did plan on putting some of that in just to keep the wind from drafting through the doors. But this way the wind can't go straight through the cracks. They're offset, so it will be a little drafty, but shouldn't matter too much. And that last piece right here will overlap the other door, so that'll cover that seam. What are you doing on my door, chicken? So I've got half a dozen more planks back there to choose from. After I get these doors hung up, I'll cut one to length, make sure it's the right width, and I'll screw it on that door to overlap that opening gap. We've got to get on to making some hinges, so I've got to go into town and get some supplies for that. I got a good idea on how to make them. Nice stout hinges. I figured three on each side. I just got to make sure it works. Until next time, guys, go make something.